Yeah, so welcome. I was in the last call in months ago already uh, as well, I think. And then we demoed the word Blazor add-in. Today we extended the samples uh, with, with another demo, this time for Excel. And some small information about me, the, the, the research that I was doing on this Blazor add-in is usually done by me in a live coding session that's um, usually on Tuesday and uh, Thursday on YouTube. The address in, in the slide you, here is uh, like youtube.com slash soft as a software or twitch.tv soft as a software. You can follow along with me in the live coding sessions if you like, and you can contact me on uh, Twitter uh, on this alias A-A-F-V-A-S-T-A-M. And the sample is currently merged into the uh, official Office add-in development uh, samples repo. Uh, the address is also on this slide. And I think you also saw that with, with the, um, the Outlook demo. So last time we, what we demoed was how we created an add-in available for Word, developed in Blazor. So basically you're allowed to do your development in .NET and do the, just the Office development part is interop uh, using the Office JavaScript interop to interact with uh, with the Office hosts, in this case, Word and Excel. I will show this one as well briefly after the Excel demo, but first let's uh, go to uh, a screenshot of the Excel demo. It looks basically the same. This is the task pane is still development de developed in Blazor. Um, so it's a C sharp front end um, with the, the, the Blazor markup. And in this case, you see a, a table created and a, a bubble chart. But let's, let's not stick in the slides and just do the live demo here to see how easy it is to, to just start your development. What we, uh, what we can do is you just go to the sample repo from uh, the Office Add-in samples. If you go in there, you go to the code button uh, on the top right, where you copy the clone command, you're starting a command window, command window, and go to your specific location where you want to deploy your clone. I have a specific folder for that repo, and so I'm making a folder there. Make directory 20, 22, 06, what's today? 08, demo live. And go to 2022. 20, Let's be more specific there. 08, demo live. PD command. In there, just hit enter and wait for GitHub to clear, uh, to clear your uh, um, download and get the sample repos into your machine. I can indeed copy the link in the chat, but, but it's, a, it's a complete thing there. Let's copy the URL from here in the chat. Back to the download, the, uh, the repo clone. As you can see, it is now completely cloned. We have an Office Add-in Samples folder. If we go to the Office uh, Samples folder, there's a Samples folder inside there. And there's a huge list of samples already available in there, but the one I, I want to highlight today, that's the Blazor add-in folder. Um, a month ago, we deployed it to the uh, root of this folder, but this time we, because we now have two hosts, we created a subfolder for this, Blazor add-in. And if you look at that, you now see there's an Excel Blazor add-in and a Word Blazor add-in. So let's start with the Excel laser add-in. The 
it passes a huge length by now. There's a solution file in there. If you simply start this solution file, Excel solution file, hit enter. It will open up your Visual Studio with the Excel project in here. We'll load it project. Depends on the extensions that you have installed in your Visual Studio, how long it will take to load your extensions and things, because, uh, well, that's Visual Studio. What you now see here is we have two projects in there. That's the Blazor add-in itself. That's basically the, uh, the task pane that's hosted in, uh, uh, in Excel. And we have a manifest project to uh, be able to run the project from F5 and start it automatically. Let's hit F5 here. That will now start building the, the Blazor add-in in the background, and it will uh, launch the uh, Blazor add-in as a server. And once that's running, you will be able to have that show up in the task pane. Usually the thing in what you see here in the browser is um, is hosted on, uh, let's say, Azure Web Apps or something like that, or in your preferred other host. So usually this is not running, but you only see Excel with this button in here in this case. It just got started with your sample adding. It got it. Now you can open the task pane. That will load the same. Uh, thing that you basically saw here in the uh, in the so-called server. This demo consists of two small uh, demos, like uh, one uh, basic Hello World thing, where it's doing nothing else than going into your spreadsheet and putting Hello World in your A A1 cell. The second demo is a bubble chart demo, where we and create a table on a new sheet, create a sample, sample sheet. And when we hit the create bubble chart button, it will automatically use the data in from this table and creates a bubble chart from there. That's the Excel demo. Let's quickly do the same with, um, with Word. It's just as easy as the Excel demo. Go to your Word demo. Word Blazor it in. Oh. Word Blazor it in. There it is. Again, there is a uh, solution file in there. If we kick in the solution file for the word demo and quickly show you the same thing. It will also be running on F5. There you are. It's, it's a, again, there's a, a web API, a website, um, and the manifest project. If I now run F5 again, that will build the word add-in. Do the same thing. It will trigger the uh, both the uh, uh, the server side as as also the uh, the host word in this case. You have to wait, I think, for the website to. Trigger, there it is. There are more demos in this um, um, in this task pane. So if I go to Word now, we do got it again. Show the task pane. Now we have uh, five demos in there. I'm not going to show them all today because. Um, we already did that um, in, the, in the previous demo last month. But quickly to make this a complete uh, overview, 
we are going into the content control demo where we set up the document with some paragraphs in there, convert the paragraphs into content controls. You now see that there's content controls. Tag the content controls. If you go into developer tab, design mode, you will now see that if you go into the, uh, that's not the right one. If you go into the prop, uh, that's again not the right one. Properties should show you the tags on the, on the uh, content controls. And if I do modify content controls, you will see that the tags are visible in there. There's also an uh, event handler uh, option in uh, in this demo. If you register the event handlers and you go into the inspection thing, then you can see on the console that the event handlers are actually active. And if I delete the first content control, the first even content control, it's deleted from the document and it will also be triggering uh, an event in the background. And removing the event handlers to clean them up. That's basically the word demo, but let's go into the um, background for the blazer, uh, blazer add-in. And save this. And as we are demoing the Excel demo today, let's go into the Excel project again. Let's open that quickly. What you need to do for a Blazor add-in is um, make sure that the Blazor engine is loaded after the initialization for uh, Office. And what we do for that is going to create a module that's a basic, uh, that's a convention for Blazor uh, web assemblies with an option in there to run something in the before start and do something in the after start. Well, we are using the before start to make sure that Word is started to get uh, triggered. So it's, uh, um, so it's ready uh, whenever the host is, uh, is running. The remaining part of the project is basically uh, a common Blazor uh, application. And if you go into the layout of this project, you see that there's a, you can recognize things like pages and shared environments for, uh, for instance, for your navigation menu. And um, in, this, in this case, you see the bubble chart demo. That's basically, a, 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 yeah, there's not much uh, weight on the C sharp part here, um, where we just trigger um, create table function and create bubble chart function. Um, that is triggering the C sharp code in here. And that in turn will create a table and create a bubble chart using the Office API um, interfaces. Um, this specific demo is, is, um, is, is yeah, as I said, it's, it's low weight on the C sharp thing, but you can imagine if you have more things uh, on, on your back end that, that needs processing, in the end, the, the interaction with, with Office will be a lot less and, and your C sharp code will, will be extended into more sophisticated coded code uh, things to do. For instance, if you need uh, to do things like uh, rendering 3D ob objects in your task pane, for instance, or uh, you go back to your database engine to collect your data and do so, do so things with the data there. Um, by doing so, you're able to do that in C Sharp and not so much in, in, uh, in JavaScript anymore. So your main uh, development uh, efforts can be done in, um, in C Sharp. And that, that's basically the, the main benefit of, uh, of this. Uh, as a .NET developer, I'm, I'm basically a .NET developer. Um, you recognize much more of the things that, that you see in the, um, in the Blazor um, environment that you recognize from your ASP.NET coding. 
that you've been doing already uh, over the years. And um, yeah, that's that's basically the, the benefit of this. Uh, it's a, they are really a starter projects, um, so you can clone them and get your thing going. Try pick up these the samples and 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 think of your own project and see, for instance, if you can take your your Visto applications or you basically your VBA application and see if you can do the same thing in Blazor because this is much more closer to the project that you already have in place. Uh, and this might also be a step up or uh, well, well, maybe for the one outlook that, that you see coming, uh, coming up, where the comments at this time are not, uh, not support, supported. So yeah, the next thing w- that we will work on will be, uh, I think Eric will be uh, doing that mostly, is developing the outlook add-in. And I also want to have a look at the the PowerPoint add-ins to do the same thing and get a starter project for that as well. That's um, basically my my thing here for today. And uh, I hope you want to have a look at it and see what you can build with it. So I really think it's, uh, especially for .NET developers, it's, it's a promising environment. Okay. That's it. Close my screen there. All right. Thank you, Martin. We really appreciate the community contribution you've made here at these samples to the Office Add-in Samples repo. Mm-hmm.